stretched resolution. That is what we're talking about today. A lot of people are looking for it because they see the pros using it and they want to know if it's right for them. So this video is going to show you how to do it, show you examples, and then you can choose if it's right for you. If you do stream, keep in mind that the people that are watching your stream may not enjoy it. Sometimes it gives people headaches and you know it might be something you want to stay away from if you are a streamer or a YouTuber. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it here. What we're going to do first is opening up our folders here. I already have it open. You're going to go to your C drive, users, your name, and next is app data. If you can't see app data here, you may need to choose view, and this is for Windows 10, and choose hidden items or file extensions. I would do hidden items. I usually do both, but it's up to you. Um, do hidden items and then go back here and then you'll see it. After that, you'll be able to choose app data and then you'll be able to go to local. And next is Fortnite game and then saved. And then config Windows client. And here it's going to be game user settings.ini. So I'll put the path in the description as well. If you right click this, make sure you click on properties. I keep mine read only so Epic doesn't change it for however I have it set. Uh, you want to go ahead and uncheck read only because we're going to edit it. And then we're going to go and you can open it with your notepad like this. And it'll open up here. So once we have it open here, we're going to go ahead and scroll down to where the resolution is. And here it's 1920 by 1080. So this video is going to mainly concentrate on the Nvidia card because that's what I have and that's what most people have. So I don't know the AMD way of switching it within the program, but I'll show you how to do it through the Nvidia. So say we wanted to do 1080 by 1080, um, we would just change this to 1080. This is already 1080. This, the Y is usually going to stay where it is unless you do a weird um, resolution that I'm not aware of. Um, so 1080 by 1080. Um, you want your program to open up in full screen. So instead of going into the options, you can go here and just put zero. When it says last confirmed full screen, put zero and prepared full screen mode zero. Basically, that just makes the game always open in full screen. Easy enough. Once you have the 1080 here, the 1080 here, zero here and zero here, you can go to file and then save. We'll save it. We'll close it. We'll go back in here and we're going to right click again. Going to choose properties. And then we're going to go back to read only. That way Epic doesn't change it on us. And click OK. So we're going to go near your clock and we're going to click on the taskbar. And this will open up your system tray. You can go ahead and choose the NVIDIA settings. It'll open here. And then we want to choose customize. <laughs> Let's go ahead and choose create custom resolution. Here we're going to change this to 1080. We're going to leave this one as 1080. You can change your refresh rate if you'd like. And we'll choose test. This is going to probably flicker. And then it's going to show this. It's going to say, do you want to save it? We're going to say yes. Now we have the 1080 by 1080. We can choose apply. And yes. And now that it's applied, you're all set. You may need to go ahead and go over on this side. I'm sorry my screen's messed up, but this is going to happen for this. Uh, we're going to go over to this side and we're going to choose adjust size and portion. And I have it set to full screen, so it stretches it. So that's how we do it. 
Guys, I'm going to put all the examples next so you can see what they look like. If you want the black bars, you can go ahead and choose no scaling. That'll keep the black bars on the side. Some people rather have those instead of stretched. So that's how you do it, guys. You go ahead and choose apply. And then there's the black bars. But most people are going to want it stretched. Some advantages of stretch resolution is the target is wider and easier to hit, although the target does appear a little faster when going side to side. So I've made these examples. The left side is the normal resolution and the right side is the changed resolution. I hope you enjoy this. This video was very difficult to make. Unfortunately, I had to film the stretch with my cell phone because I was having a problem doing everything in OBS. Uh, an example is when I changed it to black bars just before this, the black bars didn't show up because my recording software didn't record it that way. However, when I was looking at the screen, it was showing that way. So here's some taking from my cell phone. That's uh, the best I could do. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>